Hi, this is Shadi. So before I show you the podcast, I just want to talk to you just for a few seconds. So this weekend, there was a seminar hosted by Satoshi Ishii himself. It was Nogi Judo, both standing and on the ground. My initial intention was to actually show his technique and discuss it just like the Georgian seminar. But due to his wishes, of course, I have to respect it. So I cannot share with you the things that he taught. So regarding the podcast, it was not planned. This is important to tell you. And also, so if it seemed a little bit rushed or there's no sound system, etc. Now you know why. So please enjoy. Ishii Sensei, yeah. welcome. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for you for your time. Um, we've noticed that uh, when it comes to Japanese judoka, yep. you are somewhat different. Mm. Um, for example, you you left very early. You were only twenty three years old. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I noticed that um, you immediately switched and you left. So. You left because you wanted to see other things. You weren't happy with judo, or because you felt there was something wrong with judo. Uh, actually, I appreciate judo, mm -hmm. and I love judo, but I wanna try MMA. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, it is my passion right now, first priority. But also, I don't like Japanese judo federation. What they what 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 they are, mm -hmm. you know. So. Uh, like, uh, but it is not reason that uh, I'm, I left, you know, to judo, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to try, uh, challenge uh, MMA, mm -hmm. but I don't like uh, Japan Judo Federation also. Mm -hmm. At your time, when you were really going to the peak, yeah, the best, I would say the best generation maybe, yeah. it was almost at the end, in a way, Muneta and yeah. Suzuki, it was almost finished. Yeah. So uh, I think you had some of the best matches in all Japan and of course the Olympics. Yeah. Um, do you think now? Uh, do you think the judo now has evolved in a way, become better or no? Uh, for example, like we, our generation, we had a, we could like double leg, single leg, you know, take leg, mm -hmm. everything allowed, you mm -hmm. know, and more fast like shido. Mm -hmm. And even one shido you get, you're gonna lose, you know. Mm. So it was more strict. So I think, like, our age, much, uh, our generation, much difficult to mm. beat, like, Olympic and uh, world, world title. Because not, world title was like every two years, not like every year, you know. Mm -hmm. So, not, and it is also one mistake, you know that IGF did mm. because every year is coming like world title it's gonna be not like world title anymore you know like they used to like every two years coming so everyone desire to compete world title you know but now every year coming so some fighter they like cancel they don't they don't compete you know so it is not like uh, world mm. Championship, it, 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 not the same value as before. Yeah, mm. like old Japan Championship too. Mm. Like they used to be more, more like uh, worth, you know, worthful, you know, value, more value, value. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. Uh, like it is like, uh, but it is what it is. But uh, they they change a lot, you know, rules, those kind of valuable mm. things, you know. What did you think yeah. when you first know that uh, leg grabs were not allowed and it's Hanso Komake? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, it is it, gonna be like huge change, you know. Mm. It is like uh, no more, like not like same spot. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You, f uh, you felt that uh, judo lost something? Yeah, like I, I felt shame, you know. Shame. Yeah, okay. because they said uh, wrestling guy take leg, so that's why we do uh, take uh, both hands and uh, doing like judo mm. things. But if you are really good to judo, doesn't matter. You, you coming to uh, wrestling, you, I, I can uh, we can throw. You know, mm. we could throw. That's why I could uh, I could uh, 
beat the Olympic and Uchishiba also he beat the Olympic twice, you know? Mm. Yeah. Japanese won the Olympic Games. Yes. Yeah. So it it, it doesn't matter that he can take a day or not, you know. Yeah, if you are good you should defend and yeah. attack all the body. Yeah. And one problem is like president of IGF. And IGF president he doesn't know anything about uh, judo. Just he has money, you know. Uh, you, you know this guy. Um, I forgot his name, but yes, I, I, I know. Yeah, I think he about. doesn't know. He doesn't know any, mm. any. Uh, so it's politics of. Yeah, I think so. Mm. And uh, do you think now? Mm -hmm. I think I personally believe that the answer is yes. But do you think now, if leg wraps came back to judo, yeah, do you think it would be a bigger sport? I think yes, because now everyone from jujitsu, MMA, the wrestling, yeah. everyone who knows fighting and knows the value yeah. will come to watch judo and will want to participate also do yeah. you think the same uh but st still judo is big sport you know in the, in the world but uh i'm talking olympics they want to people go to watch the olympic more that's that's their goal or stay in the olympics uh i'm not sure olympic is different you know mm -hmm. they are like they watching because of country is competing you know mm. so if your country is weak in judo, people will not watch, you know. Sure. It, well, Japanese watching a lot of judo in Olympic Games because uh, judo player, they gonna take gold, gold medals. They have good chance to mm. get gold medals, mm. you know. Th that's why they gonna focus on judo games, you know. Mm. Usually they don't care, um, they don't care judo much. It, uh, then baseball or football, you know. Right. Like, uh, let's say, not Olympic years, they watching uh, soccer, like football, baseball. yeah, or baseball, you know. Mm. But Olympic year, they focus a lot of focus on uh, judo because they wanna get, uh, they they have a good chance to get the uh, Olympic gold medals. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. One last question, yeah. uh, Kano Sensei. Yeah. He said to Koizumi Sensei in a letter. Yeah. He says that. I don't mind if yep. judo is in the Olympics, but I'm scared it's going to be all politics and nationalism. Mm. Do you think he was correct? Uh, and it becomes only sport. Uh, so he worry about uh, judo, judo become only, only sport. sport and yeah. about politics and nationalism. Yeah. He was correct, do you think? Yeah, but uh, that's right, you know, now mm. become a sport yes. and politics. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so let's say this uh, IGF president is he's a businessman, mm -hmm. so he thinking you know how they earn money or I don't know what he's thinking. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But judo still it's yeah. one of the most effective martial arts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like education way too. You know? Yes, that's very important. Yeah. The, atti the the culture and the attitude I felt with judo is different than for example jujitsu they're all great people of course but yeah. judo it's the japanese culture you enter for example when i lived in japan yeah. i would talk the same way with my judo teachers the same way i talked to the cashier at the store so yeah. you see the continuation of the yeah, yeah. japanese culture in it here yeah. in the west or outside of japan you feel this cut like now you're bowing you're saying yeah. sensei and yeah. but in in japan it's it's a it's a part of the culture yeah i think that's also very important uh, how judo is a part of life mm -hmm. not just to win gold medal uh, like a budo you know like mm -hmm. kendo judo Correct. aikido like same right mm -hmm. they must respect uh, your training partner your sensei yes. you are all like older than you yeah mm -hmm. yeah i felt that very very much you see yeah. everything else is a bit different like wrestling yeah. or mma you see, you, i think you felt it was different when you went into the environment yeah sure for sure mm -hmm. Okay. Ishii-sensei, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.